everyone, this is Dr. Yoni Arthur. I'm an audiologist and strength coach and I specialize in vestibular disorders. Welcome to 5 Minutes of Vestib. Today I'm going to teach you an exercise that can be really helpful for people who suffer from a particular type of chronic dizziness called MDDS, Mal de Debarkmont Syndrome. MDDS is a specific subtype of chronic dizziness that involves feeling like you're moving all the time. Typically, people with MDDS will experience a rocking or swaying sensation that is relatively slow and happens constantly. Most of the time, MDDS occurs after someone has been in motion for a while. It can happen after getting off a boat, a train, a car, or even just walking. But in 30 to 40% of people, it actually doesn't occur after motion, it just happens. Either way, if you're experiencing a constant rocking or swaying, this exercise may be helpful to you. The exercise targets something called the VOR, which is the vestibulo reflex. That reflex is the one that controls your eye movement to keep your vision stable while you move your head. So when you move your head looking at an object, your eyes will move in the opposite direction of your head movement to try to keep your vision on the object that you're looking at. We think, or scientists believe that MDDS can be caused in part by that reflex going wrong. So by resetting the reflex with this exercise or pressing control alt delete on the exercise, if any of you still know what that means, you are going to in many cases achieve relief. Some small studies have shown that 60 to 70% of people have almost immediate relief after doing this exercise. So if you are suffering from MDDS or MDDS-like symptoms, it is worth trying this exercise. So to do this exercise, you're going to need two things. You're going to need to download a metronome app on your phone, and I will leave some suggested apps below in the description. And you'll also need an optokinetic stimulus app I will also link to some options below in the description. Once you have those two things, you're going to determine the direction of your optokinetic stripes. So optokinetic stripes look like this, okay? So they're vertical stripes that move in one direction or the other. And in order to determine the direction that your stripe should be in, you need to figure out the dominant direction of your rocking or swaying. Now, this can be a little tricky because I know when you're rocking or swaying, you are moving back and forth. But most people can identify a dominant side to their swaying or rocking. So even though you're going back and forth, a lot of times you'll feel more of a pull in one direction versus the other. See if you can identify what that direction is. If you can't, you're going to just pick one side and go with that one, and then we'll switch sides after a few days to stimulate the other side. You should see results in about five days if we have picked the right side. Once you have identified the side that you're going to start with, you're going to open your app and you're going to get this optokinetic stimulus on the screen. To choose the direction of the stripes, they are going to move in the opposite direction of your dominant side. So for example, if I feel like I'm usually being pulled more to the right, I'm going to have my stripes go toward my left ear. If I find that I feel pulled more to the left, I'm gonna flip my screen around and I'm gonna have the stripes go move toward my right ear, okay? So once you have your direction, you're going to hold your phone or your iPad or whatever screen you have picked in front of your eyes and you want it to fill up at least 80% of your visual field. So you don't want it way out here, you want it close enough that it's really filling up most of your visual field, it's mostly what you see. From here, you're going to set your metronome app to 10 beats per minute. Each beat is going to represent a full cycle of movement. And the full cycle looks like this. You're gonna bring your ear down to your left side, to center, to the right side, and to center. That's one beat. So what you're gonna hear is beat, move to the left, move to the right, and back to the center. That's one beat. Next beat, center, and beat. Now I'm holding the screen a little farther away from my eyes so you can see me very well, but again, you want that screen very, very close so it's filling up as much of your visual field as you can manage. So what it will look like when you do this is like this. And again, every full cycle is just one of those metronome beats. 
You're gonna set a timer and you're gonna do this for three to five minutes per session, making sure to observe your physical reactions to the stimulus. If you start to feel really ill or have a lot of symptoms, then you should stop, take some grounding breaths, and come back to it later. Now, here's the really fun part. You're gonna to want to do this somewhere up to eight times per day. Now remember, you're only doing it between three to five minutes per time, so you can just pick random intervals throughout the day, and if you can't do eight, if that makes it too difficult for you to get all the sessions in, then do as many as you can. Maybe do three, maybe do five, maybe do six. You're only gonna be doing this for about five days. The people in the studies have shown major improvements within those first five days. So if you don't have an improvement in the first five days, this exercise may not be the most appropriate one for you, or we may have picked the wrong side to begin with, in which case you would repeat this entire exercise except choosing the stripes in the opposite direction. I hope that was very helpful to you guys. Give it a try, see if it works. Again, it may not help everyone, but for a significant subset of people, it does help. So it's worth a try if you are suffering from MDDS. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.